Hey garden friends, this is going to be a quick video, but I wanted to make sure that uh, all you gardeners out there were aware of some changes that happened yesterday. Uh, the USDA, the US Department of Agri Agriculture, went ahead and published and announced um, the new 2023 growing zone standards. Uh, last time that the growing zones were evaluated, I think I saw was like back in 2012. So it has been a number of years since that has been looked at. And from what I'm seeing is that a lot of people's growing zones have changed. So for example, um, I have always been in zone 6A and now with these new guidelines, my growing zone is actually zone 6B now. But uh, you do need to pay attention because depending on where you are, it may be some like of a microclimate thing. So I live really close to Lake Erie and because of that, um, the lake water stays warmer than the air temperature and it kind of gives off this ambient um, heat effect. And so because of that, my area, my town where I live, um, which is about three miles off of the lake, uh, is warmer than the towns just south of me. So I can drive, you know, five, 10 minutes down the road. I am in zone 6A because their um, average low temperature gets lower than mine does here where I am by Lake Erie. And I even saw that people that are um, that are right on the lake's edge, that is even considered zone 7A in some cases. So it's uh, interesting on how those, um, how the lake factors into the <laughs> growing zone. And, but overall, what the growing zone just means is what is your average low temperature going to be? And that's how they establish growing zones. For your annual vegetable garden, your growing zone doesn't really matter too much. I would say pay more attention to your first and last frost dates to determine what you can grow. Um, but for your perennial plants, so anything that um, you don't dig up and it comes back up year after year, that's where your growing zone is going to come into effect because you're gonna get an idea of how low the temperatures go, um, what that freezing point is, and how often that happens throughout your season. And then again, that's just on average, but some perennials can handle down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Some perennials can handle down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and some can go even below that. Um, so when you're thinking about your perennial garden, that is more so where those growing zones are gonna come into play and where you really need to pay attention to those. For me, changing from 6A to 6B really isn't that much of a big deal. It's not really much of a difference. Um, I think I'll probably just state that my growing zone is six just to kind of encompass that because uh, I do have a really interesting microclimate situation in my area of Northeast Ohio where we've got seven, 6A and 6B kind of within like a 20 uh, mile radius from Lake Erie going south. And I just want to make sure that people aren't um, kind of narrow-minded in the fact that, oh, if I'm in 6A, I can only pay attention to 6A gardeners. And I don't want to make sure that you're not missing any good gardening information on that front. I will put the link below in the description of where you can look up to see what growing zone you're in. It's from the USDA. Um, you could even do a Google search for USDA uh, plant hardiness zone map, something like that. Um, but I'll put the link in the description. You can put your zip code in and then it will bring up on their interactive map um, where your zip code is and what growing zone you are. And so if go check it out. And then if you find that your growing zone has changed, leave a comment below letting me know what your growing zone was and what it is now. Also, like, just let me know something that you're um, excited for you know, in the next two months, what's coming up for you? We've got um, holidays in North America here. So lots of fun coming up there, but you know, what's something specific that you're looking forward to this year and something you're thankful for. All right. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.